been a while. Thank you all for uh, being here, whoever is here. Uh, Nick R. Nancy on. Hi, Nancy. How are you? Uh, I think I saw Nilsa and Fang. Tartus Tart, how are you? And Tartus Tart, thank you for joining the Elfster. I appreciate it. Uh, as you can see here, guys, that is the Sobu line. I am here at Funabashi Station. And uh, we're going to take a little bit of a street tour as we walk around, as I'm saying hi to everybody. Uh, Vin, good morning. Jason M, thank you for the well wishes. Peppo67, if you're still here, thank you for being here. Carlitos, Abe, Ramsey Silence, of course. And uh, I think I said hi to Nick already. Uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, thank you all. Food Taster TV, good morning. Thank you all for being here. Um, just traveling around in Chiba today. And uh, I figured do something a little bit different on the morning coffee show, as always. And that is to uh, walk around and show the area that I've never been in. I've never been to this area, so we're going to explore a bit. Hey, Jojo, good morning. Uh, Barry Bonds, good morning. Jeremy, good morning. Uh, um, and yeah, of course, for my coffee, brothers, I got coffee. Um, it's been a hell of a weekend, just to give you a bit of an update uh, real quickly. Had a lot of uh, dental, dental uh, appointments this week. And, uh, well, thank you. First Super Chat of November. Well, it's November 1st here. Irvin, good morning, and thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. Uh, Ison, good morning. Um, yeah, I was off all weekend. Uh, couldn't really live stream. Couldn't really talk. Um, getting a lot of uh, work done. Hey, Stephen, how are you? And uh, I, I do apologize that I couldn't be around. Um, I wanted to live stream a few times uh, over the weekend. I miss live streaming. I miss you guys uh, when I'm not live streaming. I, I do apologize, but um, had a lot of uh, health issues uh, over the weekend, but I feel good. I'm just hungry as frickin' hell. I haven't eaten in two days uh, due to uh, the dental things that are going on, but I got coffee. I got frickin' coffee, people. All right, so we are in the Funabashi area. Uh, I am at the JR station here in Funabashi. Um, more popular, I think, I don't know, but I always hear about Nishi Funabashi, um, which is part of the Musashino line, I believe. Um, but we are here. And then just on the other side, we're going to go check out the Keisei um, line station area. And the Daiso Giga is here also. I've never been there. You see, bro, you've probably seen a lot of videos on this Daiso Giga. But I've never even, hi Janet, how are you? Uh, I've never been around uh, this area. So I am uh, making my way out to Chiba City uh, later on. So glad you're feeling better, Drew. Hi, Silver Streak, how are you? It's been a while. Thank you for being here. I appreciate it. I really do. Um, but yeah, let's get uh, walking around. Cleaning lady behind you is scared of you. I see an orange truck. Where's the cleaning lady? Oh, that cleaning lady. <laughs> Oh, God. All right, let's go check, uh, check out uh, the area. You're welcome, uh, Silver Streak, of course, always. Gotta put my coffee away. I was carried in my pocket. It's kind of warm. Hey, Cobra, how are you? Thank you for being here. So, uh, yeah, let's go uh, check out the area a bit here. Um, I believe this would be called the north side. I'm not exactly sure. Um, not much is happening over here. What, Daiso Giga, is that Japanese fit Dyson giveaway? No, no mentioning of a Dyson, please. Auntie Leanna, good morning. Halloween truck, yeah, that's a garbage truck. Pretty orange, damn. Over here on this side, all I saw, of course the Tobu uh, line, the Tobu uh, store is here. I guess maybe the Tobu line comes into here too. Uh, the Keisei line, uh, the Sobu line, there's a few lines that come into here. Uh, Funabashi is actually the second biggest uh, city uh, in Chiba, uh, 640,000 uh, people or so. I can see at Ito Yukado, you can see the Seven and I Holdings, which is basically 7-Eleven over there and part of uh, Ito Yukado. <coughs> and we're just going to walk through the station to the other side here. Payphones, what's he doing? Looking for change. Hey, buckle up. How are you, brother? Hope you're doing well, young man. Yes, I said young man. See, so yeah, it looks like this side, uh, not much is going on here. Um, in my street views, I have looked at uh, the area a bit and uh, 
Well, I think the biggest thing uh, is the, gig, the Daiso Giga. But walking in here, you can see uh, Funabashi Station in Kanji there. Hi, Kathy3, how are you? I knew you, you popped in your third or something. Of course, this is all going to be department store uh, tobu. Look at all that yummy food. Oh my God, I'm so hungry. Blanket, hello to everybody. Silver Streak says hello to everybody. <clears throat> so yeah, the Tobu Urban Park Line. Ah, see, I didn't know this. This Tobu Line actually goes straight to Omiya, where my office is. So it'll probably take about an hour and a half, I would imagine. Actually, I thought I went to Nishi Funabashi, but I'm wrong. Hey, Leone, how are you? And we might as well start off with some creepy statues inside the station here. Love it. Thank you, uh, Tardis Tart. I hope you're doing well too. All that you've been going through in the last year or so. Uh, Patreon members, by the way, I just want to give a bit of a shout out. Um, on the uh, Discord, I did post uh, the link. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Ram. What is there? Root beer. That's what we're going to try and find. I hope we get lucky. Um, sorry, on the Discord link, uh, I did post the Elster. It's our uh, Patreon gift exchange. So if you are signed up, awesome. And uh, a little bit of news that uh, once we do uh, the draw, we get seven more days to sign up. Let's check out, see if there's any root beer. No, no root beer. I like these vending machines, they're just touch. No credit cards, oh, onigiri. Look at that shrimp. Damn, that looks good. They're all setting up their uh, little counters and stuff like that. Uh, once we do the draw though, uh, Moto Gnome has signed up, but uh, basically whoever gets Moto Gnome uh, will be buying for somebody else special. Those machines are expensive. They are, they can be. The other side over here, let's take a look. EB, good morning. Of course, you're going to have the Newsday always attached to uh, JR stations, of course. Ooh, we should go get our photo taken. <laughs> no. All right, so what have they got special happening over here? Nothing much. Of course, it's just pachinko. But it's got mega goodness. Mega goodness, ladies and gentlemen. Must be a winner. Must be a winner. And this here, right over here, is Keisei, uh, the Keisei line, Funabashi Station. So it's not too far. Uh, you can catch, obviously, coming into this area, um, either train is okay, depending on where you're coming from, if you're coming from the Tokyo area, or even the Chiba area. Isn't that Riders Gal here? Good morning, dear. Hey, Lynn Kahara, how are you? Thank you for being here, people. I appreciate it. How many of you like soba? Yeah, hey Leon, good morning. Moby, good morning. Smash that like button. Do you mind guys, if you smash that like button for me? I don't like soba. Well, I, I can eat it, but I don't like it that much actually. Curry soba. Now that is kind of interesting. Hmm. Of course they do have, you know, everything that, uh, I just like food. <laughs> they do have everything that you could, uh, get in Tokyo it seems like. Uh, it looks like this is like the main shopping area. Soba sounds good. Yes, Soba. Never been a Soba fan. Like, you know, you, you get that uh, sauce, you put the wasabi and the green onion and you dip the cold Soba, you dip it into. I can eat that every once in a while, but not really. Looks like uh, this place is called Face. <laughs> get me some Face. <laughs> I prefer Udon too, actually. I had Udon over, the, over um, Friday night before this goddamn dental shit started. Smile every day, ECC of course. Oh my, what's that? Night Riders Gal, just for some support, buy some sake drew for the pain. <laughs> Night Riders Gal, are you promoting alcoholism? Because if you are, I love it. <laughs> I will be doing uh, some drinking later on today, actually. So thank you very much for that. All right, Ramsey Silent. 
what's this? Oh, oh, now I want Moto. No, wait a minute. That's just wrong on so many levels. Now I'm going to hell. <laughs> <coughs> well, I'll just say this, guys. Uh, whoever gets uh, Moto Gnome, you'll actually be buying for my wife. He is deferred um, because he doesn't have... I guess the security guys need to go pick up their money or whatever. Um, so yeah, whoever gets Moto Gnome for all the Patreon members, you will be buying for Hiromi. So I bet you Ramsey Silent really wants it uh, badly now. I don't know, but... Uh, Even the security co communications guys have to see calm. They have to park around. So let's check out all the back alleys here. Not sure what's uh, going on back here, but. Of course, uh, ladies and gentlemen, just a quick update. Uh, it looks like Kashida uh, will be the new prime minister. His party did win uh, the majority of the votes, of course. Uh, they did lose some uh, lower house uh, seats, but uh, they still they still, um, you figured that, Ram? Yeah. Uh, they still did uh, come through with it. So, you know, let's hope uh, Kashida, I don't know whether he, oh my goodness. Oh, that's cocky. Fried oysters, it looks like. And some fish. But yum. I would eat that. That's chaha. I don't know if I'd drink that, though. Um, so that's, that's the, the big news uh, for politics. And uh, last night, ladies and gentlemen, it was Halloween. I wanted to go to Shibuya and live stream. Um, but, you know, due to the situations that are going on here, um, I'm just looking at all the back streets here. My wife wouldn't let me go out to Shibuya. Uh, I really wanted to bring Halloween to you guys. I do apologize that I couldn't get out there. Oh, see, I love these little yak yakitori places too. Yum, eh? Check it out, people. Love it. I gotta find some food later. Of course, uh, Hidakaya. And we're walking now underneath the train tracks. That is pretty cool. I don't know why I like the look of this, but Drew was grounded. Yeah, pretty much. But you know what? To stay safe, I didn't want to go into an area where, uh, where, um, you know, there's thousands upon thousands, hundreds of thousands of people. Uh, a lot of people weren't wearing masks and stuff. I just saw that sign up there, Marvel. Marvel Exciting Bar. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. <clears throat> but it's interesting to uh, walk around this area. Oh, wow. Could you imagine going to your front door through this little area every day? Marvel over DC? Yeah, I haven't, I don't, uh, I like the movies and stuff, but I don't read the comics anymore or whatever the hell they are. No back alleyways. I meant the food chicken. <laughs> oh wow, that's pretty cool. You can see uh, Keisei uh, Funabashi Station over there. I love how they, uh... oh, see I, I go from one topic to another right here. Boom, craft beer. Did you carve up any pumpkins, Drew? No, I did not. But I would love to carve into one of these beers. That's for damn sure. This is, uh, the Spring Valley is uh, in cans and the convenies. To oh, actually that one I've seen, I think I've seen in the uh, convenience stores too. How many of you actually like beer? I'm not a beer guy, but uh, Recently, like I had some Nagano beers I brought back from our, our log cabin trip and uh, dove into those last week. But a beer or two and I'm just like pie-eyed really. Okay, no root beer there. I don't see any root beer. Damn, it would be nice. I love the fact that, uh, you know, they still keep some of these older buildings, you know, all throughout Japan. I don't drink wine or beer. Mixed in, oh, the public stand. Now that's a weird place to have the public stand. Of course, uh, the public stand is uh, kind of like the hubs uh, competition. That's the uh, infinite bar. Uh, it's a standing bar only. 
But uh, the good thing about this bar um, is you can go in, say, uh, hit happy hour, I don't know, whatever time it starts, like five o'clock. And if you left, you can actually get a stamp and you can go back in at any time for 24 hours, even though they do close probably around 12 or one o'clock, two o'clock, something like that. So I like that system. It looks like uh, we've kind of hit a dead end area. So I'm going to turn around and go back the other way. I like ginger beer. I would love to see Fang drunk. I really would. I think it would be so hilarious. Drew beer doesn't like me. Makes me literally sick. Don't like beer. I prefer vodka. Rum and sometimes whiskey. Sometimes whiskey. Hey, for a better future. Good morning. Oh, look at this. Look what I just found. That's pretty cool. Looks like this is a restaurant or some sort of an establishment. Mm. I get drunk off of one one beer. Poor you. Okay, we don't have any root beer. My, my goal is to find root beer. Drew Shinichi said now he prefers beer and I thought of you corrupting him. Let's go down this way. <coughs> Actually, I was, in the, I was in Shinichi's live stream last night uh, lurking uh, for the longest time um, when he was uh, doing his Awamori. Good little live stream. Of course, always, uh, Shinichi's an awesome guy. I have no idea where I'm going. Check this out. Oh, just fake grill. Yeah, a mar an orange mar Does that say orange margarita? Oh, interesting. I've never seen an orange margarita or heard of one. I get drunk off one beer, the 13th one. <laughs> Just go, just go ladies and gentlemen, go. Do it, just go. Oh, bike parking area, not too much. Lots of, uh, lots of back alleys here. I saw you Drew today, I caught it and you in replay. Awesome silver streak. Oh my God, Fang is here again. Right there, his fang is everywhere, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, coming out to Keisei Funabashi Station, of course. Um, again, we saw that face place over there. And uh, I'm back on the main street here, so. The main street looks a lot more exciting. Yes, you're proud of yourself, awesome. All the zombies are going to work. And I think the Daiso is actually right here, the Daiso Giga. I gotta do a video on this place in my way. Look at all the baskets. Ladies would probably love the baskets. Is Marty here? Good morning, Marty. Thank you for being here, young man. <laughs> young man. <laughs> Taito, station, game center. Oh, they got a new uh, Matsumoto Kyoshi uh, building up here, looks like. And yeah, that's the, uh, the Daiso Giga right over there. He said it's Peng. Well, uh, Peng, Fang, frickin... What does he call himself? I have no idea. Everybody says Fang. There, that's the Daiso Giga. Seven floors, I heard. Um, you can film inside too, which is pretty cool. I don't think I could live stream inside uh, due to reception and stuff, but uh, this is supposed to be one of the biggest uh, Daisos. Uh, somebody correct me or give me some information on this because I really have never researched it. Oh, tonkatsu sandwich. Yum. Oh, is that, it looks like they got shrimp. I don't mind, call me. What do you call it, a baby something? We're gonna come down here in a second here. But I just wanna, oh, there's the orange truck again. Mm. 
I don't know what time this opens. Oh, it opens at 9.30. So that's kind of uh, pretty cool. That's a huge ass store, man. For a dollar store, that is pretty damn big, I gotta say. I do gotta say. Damn, eh? Rocket Pocket Boy, oh God, no. We'll, go th we'll end up going down that way in a second here, but uh, hey, Indigo Rose, how are you? I'm on the hunt for root beer, ladies and gentlemen. So it looks like, you know, it, again, it's, uh, I'm sure there's special things about uh, Funabashi. Damn, huge coffee shop in the back here. If you're just walking on another channel, everyone always used to say, Uvan. <laughs> And what channel would that be? <laughs> oh, yum. See how yellow and orangey these yolks are? I love it when I see that. Just, I love eggs in Japan. They're just, they feel so rich. So yummy. Yummy, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Oh, check this place out. Oh, that's a, that's a hairdressing place there. Don't need that. Cafe Velo Veloce? I have one by my house that I never actually go to. Did there a Sakusa machine have root beer? No, it did not, uh, Lynn. Were you the one that told me about it on the other side of uh, Senshoji Temple? Indian restaurant. Looks like they're getting new chairs. They're getting the basil chair. <laughs> I wonder what the hell that means. Oh, we got Halloween balloons. Halloween balloons. So it's these back alleys that I absolutely love, ladies and gentlemen. Where does this go? Oh, check that out. Oh, hell, we gotta go down here. These are all the snack bars. We got Coco. Come to Coco. Thank you for this stream. Uh, you're welcome. Lip Star. <laughs> Not even gonna go there. <laughs> It's probably open to, well, they accept credit cards. Basic system, get those girls. God, Japan is just a, such an open yet weird country, eh? 5,000 yen, baby, 5,000 yen. Oh, I got that damn craft cola. Remember I tried that in uh, Gin, uh, Ginza, what's the name of that place again? Flights are landing and leaving. Awesome. Yeah, not in Japan. But you know, now that the election is over, I bet you in the next month or so, we're gonna find out the future of Japan. That was creepy. Check it out, all these side street alleyways. That's pretty cheap. Look at these dishes here, ladies and gentlemen. Amu rice, 980 yen. Some sort of like bruschetta or something. Hamburger steak. All 980 yen. Damn, that's, that's not a bad price for that. Like all that right there for 10 bucks. That's a damn good deal. I, I don't know about the design, potato and maybe that's zucchini and carrot and onion or something. A bit of uh, looks like mushroom or something or other with the sauce and hamburger steak. Dessert, right, side rice. You always got to have a side rice and a salad for 10 bucks. Like those, those are good prices. This is something I would actually come to. Hey, Panda Moon, how are you? Oh, shitamachi bar spice. So of course you all know what shitamachi means, so. Oh my God, Caesarea? Seriously? Caesarea in the back alley here. The cheapest of the cheap, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, actually one of the places I would come here if I was really hammered, back in Canada anyways. I'll show you the prices. If you guys have never seen Caesarea, I still gotta do Mindy's Mum's video on cheap places to eat. Okay, but check this out. This is Doria and Gratin. 300 yen, $3, $4. Look at that, how cheap that is. You get your hamburger, or your, they're called ham, hamburg. 
Look at this. 600 yen, 400 yen, 550 yen, and shit like that. Pizza. <laughs> it's not the greatest pizza, but, uh, you know, you, you can probably get about four slices, decent sized slices out of this 400 margarita. And yes, they even have corn and white sauce pizza. <laughs> I don't see pineapple. Why the hell I don't see pineapple? Honestly, a lot of people do eat here. And uh, for the price, you're going to get, you know, shitty quality or something to eat. But um, size areas are really, really... Uh... Oh, thank you. I'm going to get the hamburger steak. Maybe I'll take my teacher here today for lunch. Thank you. <laughs> Over in Jiba, though. Yeah, see, I, I would like a little bit of shrimp, the burger, corn, egg, a little bit of tater tots or some sort of potato with, is that soup or something? I have no idea. Not even really looking. But yeah, that's Caesarea. And, um, you know, Caesarea is a very cheap place to, uh, to eat. Hard pass on the, on the corn and white sauce. Yeah, you never know what the white sauce is. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, that wasn't funny. Sorry. Hmm. The bistro belly. Love it. Hey, some secret ledges. Isn't it pronounced hamburger? I said I thought, Marty, but supposedly in Japan we say Hamburg. I'd like to know where these back alleys uh, lead to, or don't they don't lead anywhere. Kanzume Bar Night Coffee Highball. Who is that, like a canned? I wonder if they serve like canned food and coffee. That would be really cool. I wanted to go to the canned uh, cafe that they had in Akihabara years ago. They closed it down. I think there's one in Osaka too. Um, or maybe they've closed that down too, I'm not sure. Oh, this is the other uh, alleyway. So that, that's pretty cool as I walk backwards. You know, you got split alleyways, all leading out to the main street. I'm just wondering if we're gonna find like hidden shrines or something. What's, what's white sauce? You don't wanna know what white sauce is. So yeah, for all of you that are uh, joining me uh, late after I had said, uh, I do apologize for uh, not live streaming Saturday and Sunday. Usually those are my biggest days. Uh, usually I do a Patreon live stream. <coughs> um, but uh, yeah, I was in and out of the dentists uh, for two days straight. Um, getting fiber, I got fiber posts. Uh, I got root canals, fiber posts installed. Uh, fiber posts are like $220 a pop per tooth. Um, I got uh, some surgery in the bottom of my jaw. Uh, basically, the titanium post for my, um, my implants was uh, under the skin, and he had open the skin to uh, put the topping on to let that heal, so I'll start getting my, my implant teeth. So I apologize uh, for not uh, being around, um, but I am back today and feeling better. All right, I see a shrine. Again, we did come down this street, maybe. Not sure. Oh, 7-Eleven. Lots of little bars. I don't know if you guys can see, you know, what I'm seeing here, but... Uh, doesn't that like a radio reception? Well, I could have chose um, the steel posts, um, but they're like 20 bucks or something, but they're not flexible. Okay, I thought I saw a shrine. Guess not. Oh yeah, I did. Um, it's not that painful. They put it inside your tooth. Kind of like, you know, after a root canal. Hey Lori, how are you? Oh, so we got a nice little shrine here, of course. Looks a little bit older. I don't know the name of it. So if anybody is on Google Maps, uh, let me know. And while you're here, please smash that like button. I would appreciate it. Only helps the channel, of course, helps the video. Yeah, you heard the crow, did you? God damn it. I was hoping you guys didn't hear it because now you guys are going to do like crow emojis, if you're a part of the emoji club, that is. 
That's pretty cool. Leading up to a, uh, oh, got a duck. Leading up to uh, a cute little shrine here. Now let's name these people. Okay, that would be a Leone. Because I see Leone's name. Your jaw must be bionic by now, Drew. You, you'll be able to blow a robot over. <laughs> the little puppy there? Hmm, I gotta be nice. Maybe that's like a Jeremy. Or would this be a Jeremy? Yeah, more fierce. Arr. That looks like a white fang coming out of his... Join the Emoji Club. It's worth for the crow. Yes. Uh, somebody actually said to me uh, in a comment, you know, why people uh, drop out of the Emoji Club uh, goes to a good cause. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen, it does go to a good cause. Uh, what did the fox say? Hmm. Uh, so if you're not a part of the Emoji Club or were, uh, I'd appreciate it if you sign back up. Um, of course, uh, I will be making a post uh, tomorrow as to what our final total is. And uh, yes, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we will be changing charities uh, come January. So just so you know. All right, let's get out of here. <coughs> oh, get a massage, but no happy ending. Sorry. To Connor, the Steelers won, baby. Barely. I'm really, I'm doing really bad in football, ladies and gentlemen. I'm, I'm going to be four and four this, uh, this week. And every guy I've drafted has gotten injured, or well, yeah, has gotten injured. And I've either uh, put them on IR, uh, injured reserve, or just benched them. Every player. Oh, sorry, but one. Even Russell Wilson was injured and I had to drop him and pick up another quarterback. Football talk, sorry ladies and gentlemen, but uh, Julio, I mean, uh, um, yeah, I had Julio Jones, he's not having a good season. Kelvin Ridley, he just decided, uh, I didn't even know, he decided to uh, step away from football for mental health issues uh, today. So that kind of killed me too. Yeah, Steelers D is carrying the team. Oh, they're flying. They're flying. Come on, I gotta I got make Ramsey Silent proud in finding root beer. Yeah, they'll probably beat the Bears, of course. So it looks like I'm gonna get into that area. I like this. I like, I like all this bamboo kind of style. I call it bamboo. I saw an alleyway. Let's see where this leads us to. Now, of course, uh, ladies and gentlemen, back in the day, uh, we are on the north part of Tokyo Bay. Uh, this used to be a, like a fishing village, actually, <coughs> um, down by the uh, wharf. Uh, Ohio, uh, down by the, uh, the bay, they have a lot of uh, seafood markets and stuff. Not like, uh, you know, Tsukiji or Toyosu, but um, supposedly I've heard that, you know, for the local economy anyways, having these markets uh, is a good thing, of course. And uh, hey, it'd be nice to visit there on a Saturday or something, get some fresh seafood. That's for damn sure. <laughs> I wonder what this place is. Golden Wave. <laughs> One hour, 3,000 yen. Hmm. So it looks like, you know, a decent little area to live in. You're not in Tokyo. So I do see a lot more cars. You know, I bet you a lot of people commute still. And probably don't commute at the same time, but... Looks like we've come out to the main, uh, another main street area. Chiba City would be straight that way. Tokyo would be this way. Let's go down here, see what we've got down this way. Oh, post office. Woohoo! Very calm area. As I'm looking around. Supermarket. <laughs> it's called Supermarket. 
Love it. Hey Tokyo Paul. So yeah, the main area is going to look exactly like uh, what it should anyways. Somebody said hi from Los Angeles. Kelly, is that 03? My eyes are bad, but Kelly, welcome. Thank you for being here. Oh, we're almost three, three likes away, ladies and gentlemen, from 50. I appreciate it. I thought that said Ohio. It says, oh yeah. Damn. Megane Supa. I used to actually get my contacts from Megane out in Da Saitama. See, buddy, the, the truck is trying to go. Just wait, let him turn. Oh, hi, oh. <laughs> I'm glancing by. Okay, I need a ledge. I need some coffee for a second here, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, my stomach is grumbling like crazy. <laughs> oh, they got banyan. Do you guys, anybody familiar with banyan? Hey, Lynn Sanger, how are you? Ah, oh, this, this ledge here is way too short for me. I'll go to this ledge here for one quick sec. I, I just I just need a bit of coffee here, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, oh, ba Bamian, sorry, Bamian. It's a kind of like a Chinese restaurant. Uh, I went there once with we have one by our house, and um, not that good. No. Mm -hmm. Braves for. If the Braves win, they win the World Series, right? Drew discriminates against the... Uh, Drew needs soft foods. Yeah, I do actually. Uh, my dentist told me don't eat hard food, uh, you know, due to the uh, temporary crowns and stuff that's going on, uh, which kind of sucks. I can't eat... I can eat hamburger. It's soft. But he said, like, don't, don't think you can go eat a nice ribeye. Yes? Okay, thanks, buckle up. Uh, I don't follow baseball. Um, natto is soft? No. <laughs> uh, this guy does not do natto. Ah, life without coffee would suck, though. Anyone know how long it takes to mail a package to Tokyo? Uh, mailing a package to Tokyo, depending on how you mail it, could take anywhere. Mm, if you mail it by airmail, uh, probably a couple of weeks, 10 days. Actually, I tried eating cashews uh, yesterday. I had one or two cashews and no, couldn't do it. I still got to do natto curry. I don't have to do anything you say, Vin. <laughs> Ozzy gets American free Taco Bell after stealing base in World Series this Thursday. Took me about eight days from Iowa. It did actually, yeah, you're right. Stinky tofu is soft. Yeah, but it's stinky. Hey, Moto Gnome, how are you? What are you, uh, are you sitting down to breakfast right about now, you know? Having your nice uh, breakfast in the nice area? All right, finish the coffee, thank God. Ah. Ladies and gentlemen, let's continue on, and uh, away we go. This is uh, Takibin, uh, one of the local, uh, throughout the country, of course, um, delivery uh, services, I guess, like the UPS. Drinking instant coffee, love it, dude. You mentioned you can only have soft foods, and I start thinking of menchikatsu and tamagoyaki and hamburg and all my face. Absolutely, Indigo Rose. I need more coffee. Pick a pack a bin. Can I mail whatchamacallits or customs will take them? Nope. Um, I Cobrata's mail or Mindy's mom, I think, and Knight Rider's gal, Nancy on and uh, Cobra, my evil twin. Uh, have mailed me whatchamacallits before. Uh, I know Wanamaker, he actually mailed me a whole box of Milky Way chocolate bars. Oh my God, that was amazing. 
It was freaking amazing. Cheap little store here. These are the stores that I actually like shopping in because you can find actually really good deals. Because if you go to a department store, they're going to be like double or triple the price. I'm just going to keep walking down towards the water here, ladies and gentlemen, and see what we find uh, before I head back to the station area. Uh, today I am actually moving in uh, a teacher into the Chiba area. And, uh, but they're not showing up. <clears throat> excuse me, for uh, a few hours. I do have to go uh, to the real estate agent to pick up the keys for the apartment and things like that. So I've got a bit of time to actually live stream today and show you guys Funabashi. Mr. Donut! Is this a different city? Uh, different in how, uh, Peng? No, no root beer. I swear to God, I have a freaking orgasm if I find root beer in a vending machine. Okay, TMI, I know. Oh my god, Irvin needs to talk to Moto Gnome? Okay, that's scary in itself. <laughs> I don't know, I don't even know if Moto Gnome does uh, Discord anymore. He should. But if it's okay with Moto Gnome, um, I could send Moto, uh, I could, Irvin, I could send you his line contact too. If it's okay with him. <coughs> Looks like we're coming down. Not sure exactly. I see Mossburger up ahead. Oh, this is like, uh, what is this? Like a Hoikuan? <laughs> I see Irvin and Moto Gnome and Marty. I'm joking guys, I'm joking. Cobra? Cobra would be the little bird. Who's the parrot? Hmm. I wonder. Not a bad little area. Oh wow. I see the highway way the hell down there. So it looks like getting to the water, uh, to the, whatever you call it, the pier area, whatever, would probably be a good half an hour. Whoa! Holy shit. I want to be a little girl. That scares me, Fang. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Damn. I, wonder if I, I don't know if this is part of, like, I think the Hoi Kun is part of the shrine. That is pretty nice. I'm not going to go too far in. I can see the Hoi Kun uh, bus here. <laughs> no one causing it to crash. That is pretty cool. Of course, yeah, Hoi Kun there. Kids running about amok. Well, I haven't used the word amok in a long time. Sugoi. <laughs> this is what I like about uh, walking around videos, exploring, just finding stuff. Looking at weird shit. The hell's a WhatsApp? I don't even have WhatsApp, Moto Gnome. I'll send, I'll send them your line contacts. Ah, uh, Kitchen Origin, one of my favorite stores. Ah, uh, I love it. Like, see this salad right here? It's, it's pasta, broccoli, and egg. Amazing. Amazing. What did, what did Marty say? I missed it. I'm the one that said, oh, I see. Okay, never mind. It's like Osechi. Oh, God, no. No way. I would eat, oh my God, no. That is so gross. I think I'd eat like maybe the salmon. That's about it. Oh, the vegetables I would eat. Otherwise, I wouldn't eat anything else in there. Ugh. Another Cafe Veloce here. Okay, I'll send them your line contacts. Moss Burger. Oh, it looks like they're rebuilding the Moss Burger here. Redoing it maybe, renovations or something. I'm not sure. They got a plant-based green burger teriyaki. 
I don't think I'd ever eat that. Oh, you add the sauce. Ooh. Japan and their damn sauces. Yeah, I, you know what, guys? I'm not an Osechi fan. I'm, I'm gonna, whoa, Jesus Christ, lady. I'm gonna come back into the, uh, the back alley here. Hit another vending machine. Gotta get a coffee here. Ah, oh, they got the black. What do they got over here? What is that? Well, you know what? We gotta make some impact, ladies and gentlemen. We need to make some impact. Here we go. Hyakuen. Press the button. Here comes the can. <laughs> okay, I'm stupid. Check it out, baby. It's the boss. We are the boss. I'm gonna come down, sit over here for a minute, have a smoke and a coffee, and uh, chat with you guys. I, I was looking at the Cocoa Leone, and I decided against it. Well, see, it opens up into apartment buildings back here. That right there, right in front of you, would be basically a typical, typical Japanese apartment right there. Six apartments inside, all 1Ks. Actually, you know what, uh, Jeremy? The corn potage isn't that bad, actually. I actually uh, really like it. Um, coffee and the hat trick, what a deal. Thank you, Ram. I appreciate that, brother. Oh, and you're going to get more coffee soon. Oh, let me relax for a minute, guys. Sorry about that. Oh, carrying a big ass bag with me. Ah, oh, how is everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. I do appreciate every, each and every one of you here. We haven't had 50 likes yet. You guys, come on. Smash that like button. I'm gonna take my mask off. Oh, I don't know why this lady. Okay, she's doing something. Oh, maybe she's coming in here. Oh. oh. That was our moss. Oh, hi, hi. Lady's gonna back up here. <laughs> she's kind of rude to me, too. So I'm just gonna sit on the other side here and we're done. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to show you uh, what uh, she's doing, but uh, she, she told me like, I'm gonna come park here. But then she was like, <laughs> I keep getting these things, ladies and gentlemen. I keep getting them, I don't know why. Okay, we are gonna make an impact. An impact, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, mm. yummy. You gotta like coffee, people. And we hit 50 likes. Thank you guys so much for that. Ah, whoo! So yeah, I'll be in Chiba today. Uh, I'm actually gonna be in Chiba tomorrow uh, for the next couple of days. Um, the next uh, two days after that, Wednesday and Thursday, of course, we will be in Omiya. And then uh, Friday, I will be uh, in Lower Saitama area. Um, and Saturday, I have another dentist appointment. Oh, at five o'clock Saturday, so I can we can live stream here, of course. Um, here's these are my appointments here. Oh, thank you, Nick. These are my appointments here. Okay, October second, October 9th, October twenty second, October thirtieth, uh, October thirty one, November sixth, November thirteenth. Already done on this card. Oh, by the way, this I don't want to show you this real quickly. Um, this is my fourth card. Um, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, fifteen appointments per card. Um, so yeah, it's just nuts going to the dentist all the time. But uh, you know, mentally it's been a bit difficult. Um, you know, going through all of this. I need to see Shinichi. I need to have beers with Shinichi, just so I'll feel better. <laughs> there, there's the the pity whining, of course. 
Sorry. Ah. What's Indigo Rose doing? Does the Impact Coffee have milk and sugar in it? It does, Lori. Sorry, I missed that question. So, I'm uh, gonna try to get a job as a baker. So, been brushing up on my skills. Made cupcakes last night and make more plus danishes tonight. So much for my diet. Yeah, I guess if you're doing all that. Um, do you get one free when you fill a card? No, I wish, Marty. Damn, you should have, you know, you should have like a point system at the dentist. Christ, I'd be rich by now. Um, <coughs> but yeah, it'd be nice to, um, you know, do something along those lines, but, you know, Shogun I. Uh, I do hope you get a job as a baker, Indigo. It would be really nice, actually. It really would. Cheers, guys. Ah. All right, we're going to walk uh, a few of these back streets and then head back towards the station. Um, I have to get over to uh, the real estate agent. Um, I have to go... Uh, oh, the shrine is right there that we saw earlier. It's right down the side street here. Um, I actually have to go uh, show my ID, um, pick up the keys for the tenant, uh, which I hate doing because then they, they want to take my cell phone number and then they end up calling me and I hate that, right? Yes, we all want to have a beer with Shinichi. Hope you can soon. Uh, yeah, I do. Um, Lori, I really do. Um, I miss the guy. Uh, he did say in his live stream last night that he, you know, he wants to meet up uh, maybe this month. <laughs> hey, Shinichi, if you ever watch this, which I know you're not, yeah, good luck on that. Um, but it'd be nice, you know, it really would be. But my question for you today, guys, with uh, the new prime minister um, and the new, um, you know, all the shit that's been going on here in Japan, the general election was yesterday uh, for the lower house. I think, I don't know exactly how many seats they got, but NHK was saying that they were going to get around 253. Uh, they have about 270 something. Um, Drew and you, Shinichi speaking. Oh, cool. Um, do you think Japan will open up March or April of next year? What are your thoughts? Uh, I know a lot of you want to come to Japan. Um, and honestly, I want to be able to... Uh, it's so nice when men bond. Shinichi and I bond quite well. I want to be able to travel back to Vegas, to be honest. Um, I want to go to Chicago. Um, I want to visit uh, New York. Uh, I want to go home and see my family. Um, and the only way I can do that is if Japan opens up so there is no quarantine coming back into the country. Um, and for you guys, um, like a friend of mine, one of our Patreon members, Alain, he actually left Vancouver the other day and he arrived in Narita on his way to Thailand. Um, and he was like, God, I'm stuck in the airport for four or five hours. What do I do? There's nobody here, you know, yada, yada, yada. I was like, oh, sucks, man. I hope so. I'll be too old soon. I know, right, Nick? I think they will open up next spring. <coughs> I want to meet Irvin. You know, I want to meet Mar the Martys. Um, I want to meet uh, Knight Rider's gal. I want to meet uh, anybody that, you know, wants to come here. I've met Leone. I've met Nick R. Uh, I've met... Um, uh, you know, Ramsey Silent, Mindy's Mom, Cobrat, uh, you know, Old Slow Jim, and, you know, a bunch of other in Vegas or here. But, um, you know, for a lot of the people that I haven't met, um, you know, I just, and Motonome, I got to say Motonome, yeah. Hey, Randy, how are you? Say hi to Jamie, say hi to Elise, say hi to the other one. <laughs> Erica. <laughs> Now Eric is going to come and say, what? <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I would just love to be able to, uh, you know, meet up with everybody. Uh, of course, um, if you can't find yeast somewhere, I'd like to meet Ison. Ison it'd be awesome to meet Ison. I met Peter L. Um, a, a few years ago. I've met um, Melanie Kahano. I, I think that's her name. Uh, a lovely lady. I met her... Um, Actually, I met her here in Japan and again in Vegas. She popped by the hotel 
Um, Japan, I think they'll do similar to Australia. When vax rates hit about 80 to 90% in incoming countries on an approved list. Yeah, I, I, you know what, Marty? That's very smart of you to say that because uh, I bet you is exactly uh, where we're going. I bet you. And I made a mistake last week. I said Japan was the third country in the world right now that is you know, doing quite well with the vaccination rate and stuff. Um, I said Italy, but it was actually Singapore, um, I believe. Uh, I think Canada was at 74%, Singapore was at between 74 and 70%, and then Japan was third. I don't know what the numbers are right now, uh, this week, because they, they're always changing and stuff, but Canada's at 74, say 75%, Japan's a little over 70% maybe by now. Why the hell do we still have to quarantine? I was watching a football game, and this is how Japanese I get now. I was watching the New England um, LA Chargers game today, and they did a pan of the crowd, and I swear to God, I saw less than 10 people wearing a face mask. And I went, oh my God, they're not wearing masks. Japanesey or what? Hey, Mariah, how are you? Thank you for being here. Um, you know, I think I read also on the World Health Organization website or something like that, they plan by the mid-2022 to have 80 to 90% of the world vaccinated. With, and, and boosters also going at the same time. I just, I, I really wish Japan would just take a chance. And uh, if you test negative upon arrival, maybe quarantine for a day, you know? Or a day or 36 hours, you know, I don't know. But, because I could spend 24 hours in a hotel, no problem, upon arrival to a country. I'd have no problem for that. I'd, I'd uh, adjust things accordingly so that my 10 day vacation becomes 12, you know, whatever. Plus they will have treatment pill coming out. That's what I heard too, buckle up. So, I don't know, I just uh, think, you know, Japan has done quite well and, uh, and kudos to them, but I think it's time to, for a change. And not that I'm being inconvenienced because if I can't travel, I can't travel. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that, but I just miss it, you know? And I really just want to see some of you guys get your ass over here and partay. You know, I'm still looking at May. I might have to push it back now, June, July, August, but, uh, but what if you, but what if you test negative? <sighs> I think, I think if you test negative, you should not be required to quarantine. Obviously, if you test positive, you shouldn't be allowed in the country and or, you know, be put up in a hotel for maybe three days and get tested again. Maybe you, you know, maybe you get te uh, tested negative or whatever. But um, I just think like my sister went to Vegas uh, last month. Um, she didn't really have to do anything. She had to take a COVID test on the way back to Canada. She tested negative. Good enough to go. Right. So um, I just really, really hope that uh, oh the occult lady sorry for your loss oh i didn't see something what did what the hell did randy say even with what's happening in my family including a death last week oh my god randy i'm so sorry oh my god i'm so sorry to hear that randy i really am We'll talk soon. All right, I'm gonna go uh, put my mask back on. If the borders are open by next October, November, then I might be able to go to Japan for a month for my course. Oh, for Australian borders, you mean? Hey, Declan, good morning. Ah, let me finish this coffee here. Gotta love coffee, man. I don't know what I would do without coffee. I really don't. I've actually been out of coffee once in a while and I've tried to drink like tea. It's not the same. I know Erica is still praying for her vacation to go as planned. She wants to see you, Drew. Yeah, she does. I know she does. 
you know, Randy is so funny, guys. Um, I always tease Erica, and she she's not always tease her, but um, her tr she has a travel itinerary. She calls it the spreadsheet or the list. I saw a T-shirt that I want to get her, and it had it was called the spreadsheet. <laughs> I don't know why I shared that with you, but I did. All right, we're going to head back uh, towards uh, the station. And uh, hopefully you guys have enjoyed all this kind of a... Uh, this is kind of what I'm looking at here. Oh, timestamp. Oh. But I see something kind of beautiful, actually. I want to show the ladies. I don't know if it is beautiful or not, but... Uh, I saw these flowers. It's kind of I, whenever I see something a flower. Hey, uh, buckle up. Take take care, man. Thanks for uh, hanging out. I'll just zoom in from here. I thought that was really nice. Those purple flowers there. Later, Jeremy. I don't know why I thought that was nice, but it did. All right, I'm gonna go deposit my can into the garbage. There's that shrine right over there. Off to the side there. <coughs> We're just hang, uh, going out to the back, uh, to the main road here again. It was pretty, right? Oh, you guys got a time change? So if I, like I, I never adjust my video. I always go live at 9 a.m. So what uh, time would it change to? I'm just gonna kind of take a look, see what else is down the main road here. Not much of anything, really. I go for the damn bus. It'd be 4 p.m. California time, 7 uh, p.m. Okay, I gotta go. I forgot my can in my pocket here. Thank God for these cans, eh? Thank you, Vin, or Nick, or Vin, or whoever that was. And as you can see, uh, Keisei Funabashi is way up there now. So we've, we've gone for a pretty decent walk. I'm going to cross, I'm going to jaywalk. Maybe not. Maybe I am. I don't know. Let's see what I can do. L always look right, and then always look left. When you move, when you're living, when you're here in Japan, it took me a long time. Biotechnology beauty. Huh. Okay. Interesting uh, hair salon. Looks very nice, high end. Prices aren't that bad. Perms are like 100, 150 bucks. Yeah, no thanks. Not that I can use one. <laughs> Oh wow, I've never seen back down here. Obviously. China dining. Just trying to kind of see what's back here. It's always cool to explore the back streets. It really is. Not much. It looks like a, some sort of a park up there. I'm just trying to see what's down here. Oh, damn. Asian dining, red chili. I just want to go see this menu. Are there a lot of uh, electric cars in Japan? There are some, yeah. Indian food, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, I could go for samosas and some curry and some naan. Love it. And then they got amu rice. That's good. Oh, that's a different restaurant. <laughs> oh, no, it's not. It's the same. Whoa. Okay, root beer. Come on. Come on, root beer. Root beer. No. I don't see anything. Oh, that's a new coffee. I've never seen this one here. Barista's Craft. Latte and black. Okay, I don't see any root beer, ladies and gentlemen. God, do I have to go back to that station, Kamata station, just to get to that one vending machine? 
Yeah. This is how scarce it is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, there's your corn soup. Somebody said, mentioned about corn soup. Corn soup in a can. There you go. <laughs> My teacher is calling me. Sorry, guys. I'll be, uh, I, I, I hung up on her. The last vending machine check and then we're going to get going soon, guys. So, Yeah, so this here is uh, the Funabashi area, uh, my first time here. Uh, it is the second largest city here in Chiba. Not a bad uh, looking area, of course. Um, kind of like it, to be honest. It looks laid back. Just coming around here. Hey, Nelson, how are you? That's that shrine across the street there. Seems, it's a lot quieter, obviously, quieter than Tokyo. Not sure, oh. This reminds me of Doctor Who. Who are you? Creepy statues. Two girls sitting on something. Yeah, I've been to Chiba Newtown, actually, uh, Declan. Just never filmed it. I'm going to take the uh, Keisei line. I think I can go to Keisei over to Chiba uh, City. Should be pretty cool. Yeah, the main road here, all the little side alleys, it's worth a visit, you know? And I heard like uh, Nishi Funabashi is also a decent area to check out. So I got uh, a couple minutes before I uh, sign off here, ladies and gentlemen. So I do want to say thank you for the support, everybody. If you are not a part of the Emoji Club, join right now. Below this video is a join button, 190 yen. It goes to charity. You get access to our amazing emojis. Click it, join it, and be a part of something good, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it's a mini Shibuya crossing. <laughs> Absolutely. If there isn't a little emoji beside your name, I know you're not a part of the emoji club. Look at that, and just down all the other streets here. So many businesses everywhere. It amazes me. Chiba monorail. Actually, I did a, for the Patreon members, um, a uh, Chiba monorail. So of course, if you are a part of Patreon, we do private, I do private videos, of course, and private live streams also. So join up for the Patreon also, if you want to help support the channel. <laughs> we are a, a great private community. Uh, over on Patreon, and uh, a lot of friends and family. Oh, I thought this oh, it says Luna Park. What do they got here? Tsukiya. Oh, is that? Oh, check out the ukuleles or whatever the hell you call these things. By Silver Street. Check it out. Okay, that, that one there is for Fang, or Pang. It's a minion. It's a freaking minion. Oh, look at the ones on the bottom here. Oh, that's the best right there. Happy face. Happy face. Love it. Only a hundred bucks. Oh, these ones are only $33. The minion one is a hundred bucks. And then you can get some crazy ass ones here for like oh you can see my reflection <laughs> that's a full-size guitar for Feng <laughs> ah thanks for the smile on my face <coughs> that's pretty cool eh? you can see all the businesses I like those I like that kind of look the kind of the signs that are going up and down they got Saizeria, Tsutaya they got uh, <coughs> 
the uh, internet cafe which is open 24 hours they got shiro kia oh sorry detour wow you can already stay to surviving back here that looks like it's about it back here you know what let's go cut through the back alley Oh, I don't know this restaurant. That's like ramen sets. Damn. Love it. Inside there. Oh, boom. Look at this little shrine. You never know what you're going to find, eh? Eh? You never, you never know what you're going to find, eh? Because it's about time. <laughs> yeah, okay. Bug me about being Canadian. Oh, Grandma's running. Go, Grandma, go. See, now, if that was my grandmother, she'd, she'd be in a walker, walking around. Last chance. Root beer. No. Damn. So many vending machines yet. I guess not enough people, uh... Hey, Marty! <clears throat> God, I hate pachinko. Never have ever liked pachinko. It does look pretty cool though up there. That does look cool. Damn. This is pachinko. They go all out making pachinko shit, eh? Look at this. It's a big business. That's why I can't wait for... Uh... Oh, the Coquia is here. Great place to exchange money. All right, we've hit uh, Keisei Funabashi. Italian restaurant. This is Keisei Funabashi, a bit smaller of a restaurant. But again, look inside. Lots of... Uh... We're going to take a walk through there in a second here. I just saw... Oh, it's a family mart. Didn't even realize that that was an actual family mart. Lots of uh, places off to the side. All right, we've got to go check out the back alley real quickly. Is that an alleyway? No. No. It's not. All right, we're gonna cut through and go over to the main road just to show you guys. Import Foods Jupiter. Oh wow, that's so cool. Oh, they got a Korea pop-up store here. That's cool. Right there, this is a Korean pop-up store. This is somewhere I would actually do a lot of shopping and all the lovely Korean people. Huh. Oh, they got sushi go around here. Watching the sushi go around. Who the hell would eat sushi this time in the morning? I guess some people would. They got Telly's coffee. Like, oh, there's a Vietnamese restaurant here. There you go, Vin. Bento's. Everywhere you go, ladies and gentlemen, there is something. Oh, Pearl Lady is here. Got a bake. Oh, they got a cake shop over there. AU, cell phone. And of course, the piece de resistance, Tully's Coffee. At least we'd eat sushi 24 7, really? And then this just pops out to the, uh, the main area. Of course, you have lounge tables, which is awesome. Where did the Koreans pop up? I missed that. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Lynn. <coughs> so it looks like I'm gonna be going up uh, here to the Keisei line. I gotta get over to Chiba. So uh, guys, thank you so much uh, for the support. I, I truly appreciate it. Um, again, we're looking, we, we dip below 100 Emoji Club members, so please sign back up. Truly appreciate it. If you wanna join the Patreon and support the private community, um, that would be awesome. 
I would appreciate it. Uh, community, thank you so much. Uh, Emoji Club members, thank you. Patreon members, and most of all, moderators, uh, thank you for being here. I uh, hope you enjoyed this walking around video, and uh, we'll be alive again quite soon. And I'm Patreon members, I'm just working on episode nine uh, right now, so we'll get that posted up for you in a couple of days. So uh, have a great day, everybody. Uh, we're back uh, mentally feeling better, physically feeling a little better, I hope. And uh, well, I just wish you all a great day. Please check out these two videos right here. Join our Patreon right here. Press it, do it, and subscribe. Keep it real, keep it raw, show it to yourself, because I always do. Bye, everybody, and have a great day.